Right then guys, I've just been thinking, I want to do some kind of giveaways like once a month or maybe a lot more regular for like, the people who take the time watching the video or some for new people that might just come across the video. It needs to be something simple where I can just easily like send it over to you. So if you've got any ideas on about the giveaways then please let me know down below. Look like the Kelly bar, the Kelly's Irish bar, I've got it new, LED sign. Right then guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you can hear me, but it is very windy out and about today in Blackpool. So I don't have a little wonder down the promenade. It is midweek. So let's go see what is happening. I noticed this the other day, a nice little seating area just outside the Soul Suite. You got happy turf grass on the couple of fences and some flower beds. Got to say, it do look nice. And we also got like this satsu type thingy right in the middle. We got we got the little one checking it out. What do you think about it, Arthur? What do you think about it? But these are quite good as well. The way they didn't look like the fake grass, but they're not seating areas also. Then just right in the corner, we got like a sofa one. Check that out. Looking a bit quiet behind Pop World. Normally you've got a couple of people who like to sleep and sit in here. Of course, we can't forget Dolly. But let's take a moment, just look at the counting house, but looking quite quiet, but it is midweek, so that's probably why. Got the Sandingham bar. That is an other popular nightclub in Blackpool, I would say. Definitely when it's nice and sunny. You got the beach fish and chips open. But you could be quite expensive in there with being on the promenade. Even so the weather ain't the greatest and it is a bit windy. We do have a couple of people out on the up here. And just across the road, Papa's fish and chips have still got the scaffolding on. They've been on there for quite some time now. And we got the, the iconic, the iconic Blackpool Tower with the wrap up the wedding chapel and the beach house. Just round the corner now, and we will have the Blackpool Illumination switch on, and that will be taking place on Friday the 30th of August 2024. So, time you know it'll be Christmas, it's scary, ain't it? How quick it comes around. The beach house got everything all covered. I suppose you won't get a lot of people drinking outside but it is still quite warm let me just show you this see and we'll go have a look just over there see what's happening there and carry on bit of a weird one for the blackpool sea today we'll sit in but it out at the same time but it do look very choppy So you were down on the promenade, at least you can still have that nice walk along the sand, even so it'll be all wet and slushy I'll take it. But look at them clouds ahead. We've got a bit of a spitz now, but 
it feels like it's going to open up and come down a lot more heavier a bit later on today and of course we got the tourist hotspot right here where people take pictures of themselves right in front of the Blackpool Tower still here we got some kind of little unit just behind that metal fencing so I suppose that'll probably be getting ready for the switch on maybe we got that the I think they're called wind blockers but when you stand on this side of them you don't really feel the wind as much so I think these is to stop the wind from blowing like harshly look like we got other vlogger slash video maker right there wonder what it's in making for the Albert and the Lion one of many of the weather spoons here in Blackpool the Wild West Diner just right across from there and the Spyglass you also got the Museum just on the top of there also the shore town and don't forget well it were I don't know about now but if you did live in Blackpool you get free entry if you take a council tax letter I don't know if they're still doing that for the locals but I'll leave a link down below just in case they know and if you're thinking of what to do for the rest of the weeks with the little ones while they're at school might be worth a trip down we got a couple of people right up near the Colour Island bit quite a few people out and up near sea life but they all seem to be heading up this way good to see the weather don't really stop people from from coming to Blackpool or coming out even, even so it is raining or windy or, what, or whatever always something happening and of course we got the ballads I think them being put there to protect the public right then I think I don't to just make my way into the town centre a bit now and see what is going on in town weren't really much happening down the prom but town might be a different story so I just came on to Central Drive now so let's see what's happening right and just made my way into town now and so far there's not really a lot of people out is it the weather stopping people from coming or is it with it just being midweek even so Blackpool got loads to offer all year round it looked like the Grand Theatre is getting some work done to it So we are temporarily closed. It looked like they might not be coming back. I don't think for sale or for let, but it don't. It's meant to know on the board. Just made my way to St John's where as you can tell we got the church just right there. We even got the water fountains on today. Always the case when it's a bit cold or windy, they're always on, and when it's super warm, it's not. And I have noticed the other thing we have got the benches back. So I'm just walking past these phone boxes, and I have noticed that I've got some new locks on. 
so that to keep people out yeah as you can tell you can't open it now right then guys that don't be the end of this video you want to see more videos of blackpool and sometimes i do go out of blackpool once in a while to keep the channel fresh then please hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy this one hit the like button and if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos then please turn on that notification bell and i'll see you on the next one